Hey guys, I'm Gwendolyn Gay, and this is the iFixit Rundown, where I give you all the news that happened this month at iFixit. Here's what we've been up to. Teardown season continues here at iFixit. We started this month with the iPad Pro 9.7 inch. As you could imagine, there were a lot of similarities to last year's 12.9 inch version. A few notable differences are the sizable camera bump due to a slimmer case and the absence of those handy pull tabs for the battery. We love the next teardown enough to give it one of our highest repairability scores of the season, and of course, some virtual high fives. LG did a fantastic job at making a unibody design modular and repairable, so we gave it a well-deserved eight out of 10. Like other pre-orders of the HTC Vive, we anxiously awaited the arrival of our very own kit. We were still a little hopped up on our Rift when it arrived, but we couldn't wait to see the differences this VR headset had to offer. While the construction of the Vive is very reminiscent to the Oculus Rift, the head tracking system in the Vive is the exact opposite. The Rift uses a desk-mounted camera to track the IR emitters in the headset, whereas the Vive headset sees light from the mounted IR emitters without actually tracking its location. There's more teardowns to view, including the Retina MacBook 2016, the Amazon Echo Dot and Tap, and the Oculus Constellation. Go in depth with all these teardowns and more at ifixit.com. If you have a PC repair in your future, you might want to check out this brand new all-in-one PC driver. Designed with PC repair technicians in mind who need many different drivers, including T15, three different size nut drivers, and of course the classic Phillips and Flathead. We've combined them all into one driver, making an all-in-one solution for IT professionals, PC builders, and repair technicians. Pick up yours today at ifixit.com. Over at our blog, we have a great story of a girl and her camera, written by our very own outreach strategist, Taylor, who penned a tale I'm sure we can all relate to, of finding that one electronic device we would be devastated to lose. For Taylor, it's her nearly decade-old Canon Rebel XSI. You can read this touching story and more over at our blog at ifixit.org. If you want to start mastering the basics, look no further than our ongoing YouTube series on repair skills. In our most recent installment, I teach you how to use a multimeter, which has a million uses for testing electronics and circuits. I go over the basics of testing continuity, voltage, and resistance. Check it out on our channel. Last month, we mentioned our Earth Day partnership with Cuttlefish to challenge you to turn your e-waste into something extraordinary. Winners of this challenge had a shot of winning a ton of iFixit and Cuttlefish swag. Well, we found our first place winner. Check out at Scubafish's e-waste artwork. Congrats and great job. And that's your April iFixit Rundown. Make sure you keep up to date on all of our projects by following us on Twitter at iFixit or checking out our Facebook page at facebook.com slash iFixit. Hopefully you're already subscribed to our YouTube channel, but if you're not, go ahead and click subscribe now. Thanks for tuning in and we'll see you next time.